Hi, my name is Noah Funk, and this is my presentation and timeline of the NHL. This, this is my opening page. The title is Timeline of Important Events in NHL History. Subtitle, History of the NHL. When the NHL started, the NHL was created in September of 1917. There were four teams. Those teams were the Toronto Arenas, the Hamilton Bulldogs, the Montreal Canadiens, and the Montreal Wanderers. Playoff structure of the NHL. Playoff structure, past to future. In 1917, the playoffs were split into two halves, and the winner of those faced each other in the finals. Changes in the playoff structure. In 1926-27, the 10-team league was split into two divisions, Canadian and American, and the winner of both halves faced each other. In 1974-75, the league expanded to 18 teams, and so the playoff structure also changed. Here's the playoff structure for those years. Series A, team team number one versus team number eight. You probably don't have to read all of that. It's basically the same as today. Okay. Because it has team one and versus team eight and team two versus team seven and so on. In 2013-14, there was a p potential playoff realignment for the structure. It is, it is that in that realignment, there is going to there is going to include having four divisions instead of just two. Rules of the NHL. Offside. On September of 1930, offside was introduced into the NHL and the annual governors meeting. Offside is when the player goes over the blue line into the other team's end before the puck gets over the blue line. Icing. Icing was introduced in 1937 at the semi-annual governor's meeting. Icing is when one player dumps it all the way down the ice from behind the red center line. The penalty shot. In 1934, the penalty shot was allowed. The penalty shot is when someone gets tripped on a breakaway and they get a penalty shot, which is basically like a free breakaway. On May 30th, 1950, the delayed whistle was allowed. The delayed whistle is when someone gets a penalty, the whistle isn't immediately blown. In 1956, the, the power play goal limit. In 1956, the power play was only over after... Oops, so, it was only after the two minutes, so after the Montreal Canadiens scored almost all of their goals on the power play. Well, it doesn't... So, after that, the league would only allow one goal on the power play. And the blade curve limit. In 1970, Gordie Howe had an insane blade curve. After the Gordie Howe incident, the blade curve was limited to half an inch. The Sean Avery rule. The Sean Avery rule is when a player waves his stick in front of the goalie and distracts the goalie. This is also now ruled as unsportsmanlike conduct. Record breaking players in the NHL. Goal records in the NHL. In 1921 22, Punch Broadbent gets 16 game scoring streak. In 1927 28, Howie Morenz is the first player to get 50 points. In 2004, Brad Richards gets seven game-winning goals in the playoffs. In 2006-07, Sidney Crosby is the youngest scoring champ ever. In 1948, Maurice the Rocket Richard is the first player to get 50 goals. Goal records in the NHL. In 1922, Timu Solani. 1992. That's what I said. Timu Solani is first rookie to score 50 goals, and he was on the Jets at the time. 1966. Bobby Hull is the first player to score more than 50 goals. Number of teams past to present. Original six. 
Original six, Toronto Maple Leafs, Detroit Red Wings, Chicago Blackhawks, Montreal Canadiens, spoke with E and not an A. Boston Bruins and New York Rangers. These weren't the first teams in the league, but they were in the entire NHL from 1942 to 19, 1943 until 1967-68. Expansion. 1967 to 1968, NHL doubles to 12 teams. The original six play in their own division from 1967 to 19 and 1968 until 1970-71 when the Canucks and Sabres joined the league. Through the years, teams have joined and left the NHL and moved from city to city, and currently we have 30 teams. The Jets joined the NHL in 1979-1980 from the WHA. They left in 1996 to become the Phoenix Coyotes. In 2011, the Jets returned to Winnipeg. Basic uniform for the players. Oh wait, I didn't do a title. That's okay, okay. we'll fix it later. The basic uniform for the players is they have a helmet, a pair of pants, a pair of socks, a jersey, and a pair of gloves. The basic uniform for a goalie is a jersey, a pair of pads, a goalie helmet, and a glove and a blocker, and a pads. Helmets. In 1979, the NHL made it mandatory for new players to wear helmets, but not the veterans. Craig McTavish was the last player to wear a helmet after he retired in 1997. After that, every player wore a helmet. Bibliography. You don't have to read the bibliography. The end. The end.